There are a lot of mysteries deep within the vast bodies of water right here on Earth. About 80% of the ocean is still unexplored. Nor near the amount of space that's unexplored, which is pretty much all of it in the grand scheme of things. But seeing as the ocean takes up about 70% of the Earth, that is a lot of unexplored territory. Now, make sure to stick around because I have an interesting story regarding the Titanic in this one. Anyway, I'm your host, James, and these are the top 10 terrifying discoveries divers found in the Atlantic Ocean. And we're starting things off with the Baltic Sea UFO. In 2011, the Swedish deep sea diving team Ocean X picked up a strange sonar image while searching for a shipwreck on the floor of the Northern Baltic Sea. This is the image here. A lot of people think it looks a bit like the Millennium Falcon, Totally agree. When the image got out though, all kinds of tabloid newspapers started having a field day with it, saying the object looked like some form of technology, like a UFO for example, or remnants of some kind of ancient civilization. The object has been described as approximately 60 meters in diameter, resting at a depth of around 85 to 90 meters. Now. While everyone was having fun imagining what kind of fantastical ancient underwater city could have existed or what alien species could have crash landed their ship, scientists looked at the image and were like, yeah, looks like it's most likely a natural formation. So that kind of sucks. But the UFO thing hasn't been totally ruled out. So that means it's a UFO, right? Next up we have eddies, which are basically the black holes of the ocean. Eddies are basically circular currents, sort of like a whirlpool that form with within the larger ocean currents. Eddies can be small or big, and when I say big, I mean some of these things can actually be seen from space, which is terrifying. Now there's not as much mystery surrounding eddies as there is with actual black holes in space. Pretty obvious where you end up if you're dragged into one of these massive sized whirlpools, but arguably scarier too, because with a black hole, at least you can hope you'd end up in some new fantastical part of space with eddies, you just drown. And that's the other horrifying thing about these massive sized uh, ones. Nothing can escape, just like a black hole. Anything caught up in it gets sucked in. And if you're thinking you, you just wait it out, well, maybe you can, but some of these whirlpools can last for hours, days, or in some cases, even years. So, good luck. Number eight, the Cuban underwater city. The discovery of the Cuban underwater city was made by a Canadian company named Advanced Digital Communications, or ADC, in 2001, using advanced sonar technology. The company identified a series of geometrical structures lying about 650 meters deep off the coast of Cuba. These structures looked to be symmetrical and arranged in a grid-like pattern, almost like the layout of a city. The team returned to the site a second time with a remote underwater vehicle which was able to retrieve more sonar images which were interpreted to be various structures which didn't seem like natural formations. Some suggested this was the remnants of a lost civilization maybe or an ancient city submerged by rising sea levels, but many marine archaeologists and geologists thought these seemingly man-made structures could also, once again, be natural formations. And given how long it would have taken for a possible ancient city to have sunk this deep, the timeline is just off. There were no known cultures able to build structures like pyramids that existed that long ago. There is still speculation till this day about this one though. And at number seven, we have the Portuguese man o -war. So this thing may look like a jellyfish, but not quite. This species of Siphonophora can be found in the Atlantic and Indian Ocean. And as cool as they look, they're very dangerous. Those tentacles can grow to about like 30, even sometimes 100 feet and they pack a punch. They contain venom-filled stinging structures, which they use to paralyze their prey. Their sting is pretty excruciating, with some describing it feeling like being cauterized by a, a hot knife. Yikes. And although these things aren't typically lethal to humans, there have been some people who have died as a result. These things don't just cause pain. Their sting has been known to cause fever, shock, and even mess with people's lung and heart activity. And even their detached tentacles have been known to still sting on occasion. Again, deaths for humans are rare, but smaller fish and crustaceans stand no chance against these things. 
But that's gonna bring us to number six with uh, the lion's mane jellyfish, AKA giant jellyfish. The lion's mane jellyfish is a big, scary bugger found in the Atlantic Ocean. Its tentacles can stretch out over 100 feet. Yeah, a giant creature that can sting you with tentacles longer than a blue whale. And those tentacles, uh, again, are very lethal. They're armed with stinging cells that can cause extreme pain to anyone unlucky enough to get too close. They've been known to sting swimmers and even cause breathing problems if the venom gets into the air. And the lion's mane jellyfish comes in different colors. Some of them are kind of orange, a little bit red. They got big bell-like bodies that can be over eight feet wide. And these jellies mostly hang out in colder waters where they can drift along with the currents, giving folks a surprise if they swim to one. Number five, the Great Blue Hole. The Great Blue Hole is a renowned underwater sinkhole situated off the coast of Belize in the Caribbean Sea. It has a circular shape with a diameter of approximately 1,000 feet or 300 meters and a depth of around 410 feet or 125 meters. Formed during past ice ages when lower sea levels caused the collapse of a cave system. It's a pretty amazing sight too because it has this very distinct deep blue color that really contrasts with the surrounding shallow waters. It's kind of freaky, but as freaky as it is, it attracts a lot of tourists and professional divers who want to go down there to check it out. Divers exploring the hole have encountered unique stalactites, limestone formations, and a number of marine species, mainly sharks. Yeah, I've seen footage. It does look beautiful, but there are a lot of sharks of various species, and that's kind of scary. Okay, time for a story. This one has to do with the Titanic. It's a personal story, actually, once again. Yeah, before I get to this, though, I'll talk a bit about the wreckage, because that's the theme of the video. I probably don't need to give any of you a history lesson on the Titanic. I'm sure most of you know more about it than I do. I haven't, I haven't even seen the movie, I'll admit. But the haunting wreckage was discovered by a deep-sea explorer named Robert Ballard in 1985. Fascination with the disaster began around then, and of course peaked with James Cameron. Cameron's movie in 1997. All right, so interesting story here. I actually had relatives uh, who were set to board the Titanic, but my great grandfather, who was just a little kid at the time, at least I think. I think it's my great grandfather. I gotta brush up on my family history, but he had stayed out a couple nights before to watch a fire that was happening in the village they lived in. It had been raining, it was cold, and he ended up catching pneumonia, so they didn't end up leaving on the Titanic. They did leave on a, a boat later on, and um, apparently they threw flowers down over the wreckage site. Anyway, if they did board, uh, they would not have survived. They would have been on the lower decks with Leonardo DiCaprio playing the fiddle, or whatever they did down there. Again, I have not seen the movie. But yeah, thank God, right? All of you uh, wouldn't have little old me uh, in your lives if things had gone a different way. How would the world cope without me in it? I don't know. At number three, we have giant squids. These mythical creatures turned out not to be so mythical after all. And in 2004, the first actual sighting of these elusive creatures were spotted in Japan. Giant squids live in all parts of the ocean at varying depths. And the largest giant squid on record measured in at 59 feet, weighing nearly a ton with eyes the size of beach balls. 59 feet, that's about the height of the, of the life-size Gundam that was built in Japan. Like, take, take a look at this image. Yeah, that tall. Look at how it towers over the people. Now replace the Gundam with a freaking squid. That is nightmarish. That's a real life Kraken. The, the Kraken is not fictional. And I'm willing to bet that in ancient times there were even more of these giant beasts swimming around out there. And number two, we have the Bermuda Triangle. How can we do a scary Atlantic Ocean video without bringing up the Bermuda Triangle, right? The amount of spookiness and mystery surrounding this area has made it notorious for years with reports of mysterious disappearances of ships and aircrafts beginning back in 1950. The boundaries that make up the Bermuda Triangle are typically said to be Miami, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, forming a triangle shape in the North Atlantic Ocean. Stories of vessels and vanishing without a trace and instruments malfunctioning within this area have stirred up a whole whack load of conspiracy theories over the years. Is there ancient technology down there messing with our equipment? Is the area cursed somehow? Now many experts say it's got to do with 
just weather, strong currents. The thing is, even with all their explanations, there's still this big question mark hanging over the place. And coming in at number one is the Antikythera Mechanism. The Antikythera Mechanism is an ancient Greek device retrieved from a shipwreck in 1901 near the island of Antikythera. It's a complex mechanical calculator dating back to around 100 BCE. The mechanism has gears and dials, so it's probably used to track astronomical positions or predict celestial events like eclipses and planetary motions. And researchers believe it might have been used as a tool for teaching astronomy perhaps. It's made of bronze and consists of around 30 gears with inscriptions describing the functions of the various parts. It's often referred to as the first analog computer ever discovered. It was pretty incredible because it shows a level of technological knowledge that we just did not know existed at the time and there's still a lot of mystery surrounding it. The purpose of the device is still mostly unknown till this day. We could just kind of speculate what it was used for. Of course, there have been plenty of fun conspiracy theories surrounding this too. Was this alien technology shared with our ancestors or are those all those years ago? Is there more of this technology that's simply been lost to time? Again, there's a lot of unexplored ocean out there. Who knows what we'll find in the years to come.